Hey, I wanted to share with you something that I've been looking at uh, in the last couple of days. Um, there's a plugin for Blender which allows you to um, bake uh, a location into um, into a mesh, uh, the, and it's uh, it's baked into uh, in in this case the plugin bakes it into the UV channel. Uh, so if you look in Blender here. Um, I've got uh, a single mesh here. Um, that's just a single mesh with. Uh, let's have a look here. There's 13,000 triangles. Um, there's a there's going to be a lot of vertex information because it's baked in this this uh, uh, vertex painter um, or pivot painter. What it's done is it's baked. Uh, the location. Uh, it's basically grouped each one of these um, boxes here into its own group of vertices, which are, um, if you look at it, they've all got the same x, y, and z value. Uh, z is nowhere. I've, I've got this right on the uh, x, um, x, y plane here in Blender. So that, that's really nothing. Um, but this plugin, again, it's not special or anything. I think. Uh, uh, all it does is it just it just bakes that information in, um, and I saw I saw online that there's uh, you can do this with Houdini as well, uh, and that would probably be better, but I don't really know Houdini too well. Um, but if you just have a look here, pivot, pivot painter, and the author is Malt Malty. Zealous, I'm not sure, um, but he he's offered this uh, for free. And where you see this used quite a bit is in um, in, in vegetation, uh, so bending bending plants and leaves and stuff like that. So I'm not, uh, and and then I think his his stuff he's all doing in Unreal, and I was like, well, I'll try to do this in Unity, um, and. Uh, I'm pretty early on, like I, I haven't really tried any vegetation, but I was just trying to understand how um, how this information would be useful. Um, so I brought it into uh, into Unity here. Um, that's not Unity. Um, I was trying to look at examples in Unreal as well, uh, but this is in in Unity, and um, you're like, well, what what does it actually do for you? So this is just a single um, you know, there's no there's no skinning, there's no weights or anything like that. It's just a single mesh, a static mesh. Uh, in fact, you can see it here if I turn on the uh, selection outline. Uh, you can see that's a static mesh. Uh, what's interesting is that I can manipulate each one of these um, nearly individually. So you can see here if I um, if I I can pick out this box here. And uh, I could pick I could pick any box. Um, let's see here. Let's set that back to zero. Um, let's bring it up a little bit more. So the, again, this is just happening at, in the shader. Um, let's try moving this around here. Okay, it's it's just moving too quickly is the problem. Um, so we can't really see it. I want to just move this a tiny fraction. Uh, point, point 0.1. Okay. Well, it's not really doing anything. Anyways, um, and so I I could move a single a single item, and then I can also move uh, multiples. So I've got this set up. So let me drink bring this down here. Okay. Uh, at some point you're going to see it's going to start affecting like I'm just affecting one there and if I move okay now now you can see I'm moving like um, different uh, different boxes around um, so I've just got I'm just moving along the y-axis uh, I can move along the x-axis and uh, I can also um, I'm just in the shader I'm just kind of got a distance um, from my point of interest. That's what this position is here. It's just like whatever my interest point is. 
so let's let's adjust the width a bit more. I can I can pick up more of them. I I can basically pick up as many as I like here. Um, one thing that I haven't done, I'll turn off that selection outline. Uh, one thing that I haven't done is I haven't done any lighting. Like I haven't. I believe what you have to do when you when you're manipulating these, if you want lighting, I believe you have to recalculate the lighting. Um, and I haven't I haven't bothered to do that yet. Um, you can see here um, I can I can control. And then I was like, well, I don't really like that shape. Um, so I added a, a power function in there, and then I can actually change, uh, you know, the shape of this as well. Um, so I don't know, I don't know if this effect. Oh, one other thing is that I'm, I'm, I'm changing the rotation uh, based on um, whatever that origin point is as well. So you'll see everything is kind of rotating out. Uh, from let me lower this down here a bit. Let me bring it down. Everything's rotating away from that from that origin point as well. Yeah. Uh, so I thought it was kind of fun. Um, I th I think it's uh, a um, an interesting uh, tech I guess. Uh, which again I've I've been playing around with uh, shaders and that for a while, but I, I've actually never really looked at this. Um, I have I have done things in the past where I've you know manipulated things at the vertex level, like um, you know vertex offset. That's basically what I do for my grass and my plants. I'll just do like a vertex offset. Uh, whereas this is kind of um, I guess this is overcoming the limitation of everything in in the static mesh being limited to a single pivot point which is generally what it is right you just have the object origin uh, so this is basically the, the idea here is that you're just bringing in a bunch of origins and then you're you're working from rather than working from one point you're working from multiple points um, so I hope um, I hope you find that interesting um, I can I can move all of the boxes here um, again, I can, I can move this around, um, and yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what the performance is on this. Um, no, it's, it's, uh, here we go. Maybe it's really slow. I don't know. It looked fine in the editor. Um, where's our, our gizmos here? Stats, stats. Oh wow, that's really slow. Here, if I hit play here, oh, maybe. Okay, I'm getting 200 and 200 and something frames per second. So that's not too bad. Um, Let's go uh, main camera, game object, align with view. So go back to our game view. Um, let's click on, actually let's, let's click on this shader here. Yeah, 200. I don't, I don't think this is particularly heavy. Like I'm not, I'm not doing any lighting or anything like that as well. Uh, there's no lighting going on. Um, I can invert the shape. Uh, scale it back up again. I don't know. This is just kind of a fun thing to play with, and I thought it would be uh, interesting to kind of uh, to show. Um, yeah. So again, this is a static mesh. There's no. Uh, this is just a, a vertex offset that's happening in the in the shader. Well. I hope you I hope you found that interesting and uh, you can look into it. Um, I'm using this is the first time I've actually opened up the um, use the shader graph. I've never used the shader graph, so <laughs> this is my sh first shader uh, using the shader graph. Um, I didn't need to use the shader graph, um, but it's something that I want to learn how to use. Um, so uh, I did. I I didn't even need to write anything custom for this. Um, this is all vanilla. Um, I think the one 
the one that I used that was um, similar to what's in Unreal is rotate around, uh, what is it, rotate, rotate about axis. That's that's kind of the the one that is doing the, the rotation, rotate about axis. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy that. And uh, if you if you want any help setting it up, just let me know. Um, I might I might do a future tutorial or something uh, on on something similar to this. All right. Take care.